Hi, I'm Josh. This is Shia, Nick, and Kevin. And this is Joe. Hi, everyone. So this is our rendition of uh, Joe's experiment, which will basically prove how energy is always conserved. So we're going to be uh, converting uh, potential energy into mechanical and to thermal energy. So essentially what this does is that we will be attaching a five pound weight to this side right here, which will make this, uh, obviously, this side go down. And it'll turn this wheel right here. This wheel is actually attached to some sort of paddle weight wheel at the bottom. And there is a thermometer here to keep track of uh, the temperature. Right now, the temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius. It is uh, filled with uh, some kind of vegetable oil. And uh, essentially, uh, each of these weights will be following about 15.5 uh, inches. And uh, these toppers right here ensure that each weight falls that same exact height. Uh, so let's give it a run and see how things work. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, back again. So uh, let's find out yeah, exactly how many uh, how many degrees we went up. Probably a ton, you know, because these things are so efficient. It's about 26 degrees now, and that was after that was after about 32 drops. So uh, we can actually ended up calculating what it what it should be, and it should be about 20.8 drops. But um, of course, this is a highly inefficient system, and uh, lots of energy is lost through friction. Uh, and other such things, especially at the pulley systems. But uh, for the purposes of understanding the conservation of energy, this works just fine. And uh, so I hope. Sorry. So I hope that uh, everyone really learned uh, about Jules' experiment and uh, how energy is conserved. Yeah.